You know the old saying, if something is too good to be true, <clears throat> then it probably is? Well, in this case, raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour is too good to be true. There have been tons of evidence of job loss and um, not even come close to reducing poverty at levels that people think it should. Um, according to for reasons not to raise the minimum wage, they found that two-thirds of when people have raised the minimum wage, it's been um, negative effects on employment. Um, we don't want to raise the minimum wage to, um, we don't want to raise it, we don't want people to lose their jobs because we raised the minimum wage. Um, also, we, even with raising the minimum wage, it still won't have any effect on poverty, um, which is not even a bigger problem because people are not you know, working, they're just sitting at home and collecting checks from the government because of COVID. And uh, based on a 2012 analysis um, of the New York State minimum wage, when it was increased from $5.15 to $6.75, um, they found a 20.2 to 21.2% reduction in employment of younger, less in, uh, educated individuals. Um, also, with raising the minimum wage, it could also result in um, business closures in the uh, small business market and um, also job loss, as I mentioned. Um, to illustrate the minimum wage can and will result in hurting small businesses and business closure also having little effect on reducing poverty. Um, when paying the employees more then more than the more minimum wage when paying the employees more than the minimum wage is a priority that simply means that the company is spending more on the employees and uh and is in short term taking less money so they'll be making less money and that will soon drive them out of business also um according to should the minimum wage be increased um 2019, increasing the minimum wage would force businesses to lay off employees and raise the unemployment level. Um, I also saw something from, I think it was CNBC, um, that raising the minimum wage would cost one would create 1.3 million jobs, but it also would um, take away 1.3 million jobs, which it doesn't really do anything. It's, it just balances out. It isn't really do anything. Um, in fact, a survey of uh, 1,213 businesses and human resource professionals, 38% of employers who currently pay minimum wage said they would lay off some employees if the minimum wage would uh, increase. 54% said they would decrease hiring levels, which means that it doesn't create more jobs just because the minimum wage increases. That's kind of dumb. Uh, a minimum wage increase would hurt small businesses and force companies to close. In addition, 60% um, of small businesses owners say that raising the minimum wage will hurt most small business owners, according to a 2013 Gallup poll. Um, increase, increasing the minimum wage also reduces the likelihood of upward uh, movability in businesses, um, since you're already making so much more money at the bottom. Um, furthermore, uh, according to Don, uh, he's a doctor, a Justin Scholar at um, Cato Institute, explained the minimum wage cuts off the first rung of the employment ladder, and it, it's the first lowest pay rung that provides the skills and experience workers need to reach the next rung and to continue climbing their way to a better life. Um, in addition to hurting just small businesses and just business in general, it has uh, much more of a effect on things besides business. It also can affect things like um, housing prices and consumer prices. Um, one Los Angeles-based blogger estimated a raise in rental prices by $173 a month and uh, if the minimum wage was increased to $15 an hour, which is already um, pretty bad because 
people paying rent is kind of a hard some people live check by check so that would be adding 173 more dollars to the rent would be absurd um lucas hall founder of landlord landlordology.com said raising the minimum wage causes a temporary spike in spending power Land, landlords raise rents as tenants are willing to live and uh able to pay more um also it also um Crime increases with the minimum wage. Uh, in fact, the results indicate that crime will increase by 1.9% uh, among 14 to 30 year olds. That was on uh, foxnews.com. Uh, researchers found that between 1977 and 2012, increases in the minimum wage resulted in no significant change in the rates of violent crime or property crime. Uh, and lastly, the, uh, raising the minimum wage would increase the price of consumer goods, which we all buy consumer goods and stuff. Uh, NBC News found that the price of a cup of coffee went up by 10 to 20 percent in Oakland, California, after a 36 minimum wage hike in the city to $12.25 an hour. Uh, the Chicago... Um, the report also found a 6.7% rise in coffee in Chicago after the minimum wage rose to $10. The Alberta Hotel and Lodging Association of Canada found that a sudden, sing a sudden and significant increase to the minimum wage would increase, result in increased prices for food and beverage, um, for their guest rooms and meeting facilities in the hotels and such in Canada. Um, also, uh, lastly, uh, minimum wage actually causes businesses to reduce numbers of people they hire and the hours they work because you're already making you're already making more money, so you're gonna make less you're gonna work less hours because you're making more money, and it would also reduce the people that they hire because everyone's making more money, and that means they don't have that much money to give to people, so they're gonna hire less people result of that uh, that was raising the minimum wage when I reduced poverty 2007 it may seem like raising the minimum wage would be a good thing but obviously with all the points I mentioned it doesn't really turn out that way um, I just hope that y'all would see that uh, there's also some as, as good as it may seem there's also some um, significant downsides to raising the minimum wage and uh, that's it